and welcome everyone and I am trying to use a little bit of peace, although I am in Spain and it's very, very loud here all the time, but I think it's a siesta now, so it's a big chance that I will have a moment where it's really quiet and nobody really disturbs because every day where, when I'm leaving right now, there's a little concert of Ukrainian lady that is arguing with her probably husband and the concerts are going from early morning till ear till the evening. I think they have a siesta now. So I hope I can introduce you to the wonderful topic, which is about ricinus oil. And uh, it's called in English castor oil, but also ricinus, it's from Latin. And it's a widely known, although forgotten, product that can help us it's a remedy and a lot of uh, ailments that people have so whatever i'm going to say i'm going to support myself by the great articles in thankfully english so this time i'm not going to translate and um, uh, i'm going to uh, tell you also some of my experience with ricinus oil which i am familiar with for many many years because we had in poland tradition of using ricinus oil and in the age time when the different uh, infectious diseases are spread and whatever is happening right now in the world i think this one about ricinus oil it's worth to know whatever i'm saying please remember this is not a medical advice and please connect with your ayurvedic doctor uh, alternative medicine doctor that cooperates with a good uh, doctors that still are following what they preached and they uh, they use the, they are ethical moral and they still following Hippocrates uh, guidelines not everyone in this age is following that we know widely it's already known that big pharma took it over and we have a lot of medications that are not necessarily good for everyone and some of them are detrimental to our health but this is nothing new you know about that already so i hope the youtube it's going to be fine with that that i said that here because i have to be careful about certain words because we are on youtube and the uh, censorship and the algorithm sometimes pick up the certain sport that not supposed to be there so whatever i'm saying this is not an advice please verify everything what i'm going to tell you today so ricinus oil uh it was known for ages uh the further you go you can find it in ancient egypt it was uh written so you can go back in time to everest papyrus and the article i'm um, using for this video is from the website healthfirstnetwork.ca and this is a blog the author is not really a person here but uh, it's written saint francis herb farm so uh, there is a website here which i can also provide for you uh, under this video in the comments uh, or just in the description and before we start and jump to this article i would love to invite you also to my other channel flow freely where it's more about art keeping in a good vibes practicing with us and there are hidden videos about dance classes that you can take they are from my home or from different places so they are hidden so if you like then access to it please write me email to joanna.pilatovic uh, at gmail.com and uh, i will give you the link and of course i invite you to subscribe to this channel joanna pilatovic and the other one flow freely uh, so you can get more and hit that button notification so you can get the also more videos and be notified about them uh, and now let's jump into it let's start so castor oil uh, it is pale yellow vegetable oil pressed from the bean uh, plant and it grows best in wet tropical climates it contains of course ricin 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 however you say that pronounce it in english highly poisonous cytotoxic protein that is denatured and rendered harmless by the heat of the oil extraction process be very careful i would tell you today about the usage of it internally and out uh, and you need to be a little bit careful with uh, drinking it 
uh, but do never uh, heat it do never you know fry anything on it uh, because it's going to lose its potential and if you buy it please buy only cold pressed recent oil good quality and not another one so uh, how, why is it called palma christi so resinous oil it is called palma christi uh, it's supposed resemblance to the hand of christ and its widely reputed healing power so it was already known long time ago in ancient egypt that it has healing powers powers healing um, and these days a lot of practitioners are using it and of course it's in a wound healing anti-inflammatory detoxifying immunomodulatory and skin uh, or, or emollient properties as well of gastrointestinal problems like gas bloating and constipation since we are by that if you do suffer from that uh, please do not drink it more than two little spoons of oil for the night if you like to go to the bathroom in the morning however if you have anything else um, one spoon of that in the morning before eating connected with the lemon or grapefruit uh, it has its uh, healing uh, properties it is a remedy for internally and that's the only way how you can use it as far as i know internally please do not drink bottles of resinous oil it's not good for your health uh, so uh, it's used most of the times it's applied um, uh, for your skin placed over swollen glands cysts other lumps and growths uh, so it has um, a good quality it acts on the lymphatic system drawing out toxins and poisons for this reason a pack is best placed over the lymph glands near the shoulders growing upper back and neck as well as over the abdomen liver and kidneys for all its age or effectiveness however castor oil's precise mechanism of action have not been fully explained by science here the author will give you a number of uh, um, experiments studies and i will read it to you because i found it very interesting please verify that i do not see uh, the links here directing straight to those experiments uh, but I think if you write to note to the author, he could probably provide you with the specific, you know, links. Uh, considering the uh, compress and uh, placing it within the pack. So these days on the edgarkc.com or edgarkc.org, there's a lot of official websites uh, of Edgar Casey, who was uh, one of the mostly known, who was advising women for the tumors, uh, breast tumors, any kinds of cancer, to put those uh, warm prepared oil. And here, uh, before I'm going to uh, read you those experiments, this is uh, what I know about Edgar Casey, how he was advising you to do it, and also what my uh polish people who uh, who were sending me even pictures high how, how they were implementing those compresses on their body and they had different you know tumors cysts um and skin cancer and so on so what was going on first of all how to use it so it's supposed to be warm uh, if this is anything with limbs and growth and uh, anything like that, it's good to connect it with uh, also other remedies uh, like a little bit other oils or um, earth, um, earth that is, oh, I forgot the word, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, that is the earth that is also... Um, I'm going to, uh, in a second, I will find it out because I just forgot the, uh, the one, unfortunately, the word. So I'm really, really, really sorry about that. Uh, but I will find it in a second. Just give me a second. So sorry about that. The diatomaceous earth. Thank, thanks God we have Google Translate. 
So diatomaceous earth, uh, it is connected, sometimes you connect with a oil, recent oil and the compresses you do for night. So I recommend to do it straight for the night, not two hours here, two hours there, although this is already very helpful according to the studies I'm going to introduce you with. Uh, but for the night, it just works better. So people were sending me the compresses and uh, the lady had uh, two more in her breast and uh, she was doing this for a month, but every day, every night, she sometimes was using it also in the daytime. So you can see it's a lot, it's very intensive uh, therapy. And uh, she sent me the pictures before the treatment and uh, every night her compresses were dirty. So the toxins were really coming out of the skin and the top was, it was looking like a brown something. And this, that herb is usually white and uh, there is no color also of resin oil. So there is no way it uh, would be brownish or orange brownish. Uh, however, she had that. After a month, she was sending another picture and it was purely white. So the earth was just as white as you mixed it with the oil before using it or after the whole night. So of course, uh, in her case, everything disappeared <clears throat> and that was fantastic but it all depends on what kind of ailment you have how long it was going on so please verify everything and connect with your doctor so let's jump into uh, studies double blind study was conducted on 36 healthy subjects okay sorry for that cut in between uh, so it was a study was conducted on 36 healthy subjects before and after the application of castor oil packs abdominally for two hours daily as they rested in bed found that castor oil produced significant temporary increase in the number of t11 antigens over a seven hour period following treatment T11 antigens have been found to be closely related to an upsurge in the body-specific defense mechanism. Speculation is that castor oil affects the T lymphocytes in the upper layers of the skin and that they in turn play their role in influencing the general immune system. As well, a topical application of castor oil may provoke a stimulation of prostaglandins, which also affect the immune system. So see, that was about two, uh, two hours only per day, and it already had such an effect. Amazing. Uh, but please verify it if this is a real study, of course, uh, as this article claims. Uh, I do not have a problem with believing that because uh, I have quite enough number of people who are sending me material and sending me proof and whatever they uh, showed me they did and whatever the ailment they had. So I can easily believe that this could be true. But please check that whatever you have something to heal on your skin or not. Um, in our tradition, this is something I will tell you shortly from my experience, we had in Poland quite, quite, you know, cold winters and uh, there, uh, there is something I know also from Poland and when it was so cold, we tend to, some of us at least who knew about it, uh, we put the oil, resinous oil on our skin because it has this capacities of keeping you warm for all the day. And uh, it's very fat oil and you may be uh, surprised because your body will absorb it very fast. Of course, you have to wait slightly and put it really good on your skin. Uh, so wait a while, wait a few minutes because in the beginning phase, uh, when you just leave it on your body and it's not well absorbed yet, uh, you can uh, damage your shirt, your blouse and so on. So be uh, careful about that but the body really absorbs it fast so within a minute you're not supposed to have uh, the you know oily oily shirt or anything like that 
and uh, you can put clothes on it but just make sure you spread it uh, uh, through your body you're not supposed to just put it and leave it but really really massage your yourself uh, with the with the oil so let's continue with that another study 17 participants had castor oil packs applied to the liver area for one and a half hours per day over the course of two five day periods can spanning two weeks the result was a normalization of total lymphocyte counts with two of the participants also experiencing normalization of liver enzymes and cholesterol levels another one series of experiments conducted on lab animals to investigate the pain reducing and anti-inflammatory properties of castor oil in comparison with capsaicin found castor oil as effective as the latter but without the disadvantage of skin irritation this makes it useful for neuropathic skin disorders like post herpetic neuralgia and diabetic neuropathy so you see you have a lot of uh, possibilities uh, how you can work with it also so it's uh, also for the against the pain but you don't have to drink it against the constipation you can also in another study the elderly uh, who had constipation problems found that castor oil packs mitigated the symptoms of constipation they probably put it uh, directly on the gut you know on the stomach uh, uh, in this way. Uh, in Ayurvedic medicine, castor oil is considered as a king of medicines and intended to cure of vata and arthritic diseases, especially when the latter manifest themselves in pain, swelling and deformation of the joints and even the bones. Besides these arthritis diseases, it's used externally for lung sores, fungal infections of the skin and nails, conditions like eczema and uh, psoriasis. In Ayurveda is used as well tropically to treat styles conjunctivitis and foreign objects in the eyes. I just hope I pronounced it well so you let me know about it. I hope I did, at least I tried. Uh, so basically you cannot go wrong with putting all this oil on your body. Also, considering the Ayurveda, I was told, and uh, sometimes I do, but I do forget about that, but I can now uh, tell you what is worth to do. So uh, it's good to take a sip in the morning of rizinus oil and keep it in your mouth and, uh, uh, and clean it like for a minute to three to even five minutes if you can handle it because of the taste that some of you can find the taste really really unattractive i don't mind uh, but if you do all the toxins of course coming out when you spit it so try and see when you spit it out what color it has and how uh what um, essence it has it will be completely different when you drink it i promise you that uh, so there's something it's from ayurveda you uh, they also um uh, advice to use olive oil, cocos oil, and so on. So for, for those of you that uh, you find it, uh, the taste awful, you can use cocos oil and do the same. It's also very widely known. And something you cannot find here, there is no sources about that. And this is something I will tell you from my personal experience. So uh, retinous oil, when you put it also as a mask, it rejuvenates your skin, your body, and it is used against wrinkles. So try it out. Of course, it depends what kind of wrinkles, what kind of age, but it always improves the skin quality. Uh, so it may happen if you do not have a deep, deep uh, wrinkles, it may happen that um, just by applying them for a night, under your eyes and you know in your face whatever you you feel like it uh, in the morning you wake up there is not even a single wrinkle uh, so for those women who would like to extend their youth and they start to see the first you know um, uh, symptoms of uh, not having that and I know it can be really really um, uh, paranoid about that and uh, uh, later it doesn't matter so much but at the beginning 
you know, when you observe, you know, wrinkle here, wrinkle there, uh, then of course resinous oil has enormous um, uh, properties to smooth it straight away just for, just from night to day, so fast it works. Uh, so it has that uh, abilities mm, uh, in, um, yeah, I think I'm not going to digress anymore here. I think I told you enough. So be careful with internally use it no more than two spoons. If you have this uh, uh, problems, you cannot go to the toilet uh, easily, uh, but, uh, but no more really than one spoon. But please connect with your doctor to make sure because everybody is different. Everyone has a different structure, different ailments, different diseases, or thankfully lack of them, then you don't need it. Uh, but outside on your skin, you can, you can have enormous amount of ways of how to using it. Uh, considering the conferences, there are packs that you can even buy in America. I see they they have layers of cotton that put the oil. There is a layers and there's electric uh, electric pillow that you can put around on those uh, places and to your body directly, and it will keep your uh, places uh, that needs to be healed uh, for a longer period of time. However, if you do not have that. The simple, our Polish way is to put a compress um, uh, and if you wrap it with the bandage or something and even do Reiki if you work energetically with yourself uh, or any, any form of biotherapy, uh, your body naturally will warm it up with your skin, it will connect and you just co cover yourself for the night, it will be good. That's gonna, going to work. Some of you use the lamps, those specific lamps, uh, that the, the, the red lights and uh, use it for 20 minutes while having a compress on yourself, no longer than that, please remember that. And according to Edgar Casey, um, uh, he, was, uh, he was telling the, the, the women uh, to warm it up on the pan make sure it's not going to fry of course so it's a very very low heat very little just you know no longer than well it depends what kind of kitchen you have so be sure that you're not going to fry your compress with all retinous oil and then you put it on the skin directly and uh, of course the best is to use the bandage so you don't uh, so you don't uh, damage your shirt your cover your sheets and so on and you keep it for the night uh, and it has this uh, healing effect but don't believe me try it on yourself check it out let me know what you think about it let me know about your own personal experiences and perhaps i didn't say everything here in this video so please add more to it because we are connecting together and uh i wish that we can have all this knowledge easily accessible whether we um have internet or not or we go back and some people you know implement those fears that we may lose even internet never know but uh, this is still one of my dreams to have this akashic li uh, libraries all over the world and a lot of communities communities that you can have this sort of you know recites you know what to do uh, in case something goes wrong, yeah, like a first recipe, and not only about your health, but also in the astral world, also about all those, you know, uh, dreams, interpretation of dreams, and so on. And uh, and if I ever manage to have that, and if you do have that somewhere, there connect with me, uh, because then people can exchange, then the people can exchange the information. They can come to that library, read the book, borrow it, give it back to you, and. Um, uh, yeah, I believe in that uh, sharing together and benefiting from this uh, alternative knowledge and ancient knowledge, something that is so long out there. Uh, yeah, and warmly I introduce you one more time to my channel. Please click the subscribe notification and also to Flow Freely channel. And if you also are on Facebook, there is a um, there is also to create a sort of a community there. Uh, there is a group, Travel, uh, Self-Realized Care, so you can meet, not everyone uh, has the courage to go some new places, they need friends first, they need to connect, they need to see, they can trust, uh, to explore, so you can, you can connect, you can ask uh, for the information, make friends there. 
I'm not often on Facebook. I do post, but please, if you would like to book a session for the tarot cards readings, uh, dance or uh, dreams interpretation, shape shifting, please uh, directly write me on my Gmail and on my website, joannapilatovic.com. You can, of course, have all the information and please be concrete what you are expecting so I can make sure that you receive what you really, really uh, need. Okay, this is it for today. Have a lovely day out there. And I think the siesta is over because the door, dog is barking. So you still have a walk for the neighbors. So have a great day out there. Until the next time, bye-bye.